Okay, so got the infamous uh, Cummins 53 block here. Um, this was the VP24 valve engines. And um, to, to my knowledge anyways, these only came in the Dodge pickups. Um, you know, maybe they came in other stuff too. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I've personally only seen them in the Dodges. And so the way we're looking at this here is this is the front. Um, so like timing case would go here and you'd have a uh, power steering pump and vacuum pump here and then injection pump here and then of course tap a cover down the side and uh right there is the 53 right above like the oil pan and if we come around to other side here on this particular example anyways there is another 53 right there and so like your oil filter would mount vertically right here this is where the oil cooler goes and block heater right here um i don't know if that's normal for them to have it on both sides like that but this one here at least does and um, uh, so yeah, there was there were several different castings of blocks. There were some that were like this, obviously the fifty three. There was uh, that I know of, anyways, the fifty five and the fifty six. And there were also ones that were unmarked. Um, my understanding is that the 56 is one of the stronger blocks and one of the thicker blocks. Um, and that it goes in numerical succession. So like the 53 would be the, you know, one of the first ones. I've never personally seen a 52. Um, and then the 55 and the 56 would be after that. And I would assume that there's a 54 uh, wrapped in there too. But... The 53s are known for uh, cracking the block down the passenger side here. And so, you know, like I was saying, your oil filter mounts here, block heater here, and then your turbo would sit right about like so in the pickup. Um, if it was a different engine, then they put different exhaust manifolds and all that kind of shit on them. Well, I guess turbo would actually be further up, be about here or so. But anyways. So, yeah, they were known for cracking the 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 53 castings were known for cracking the block and um it seems like kind of one of two things happened either they cracked like right away and they were dealt with under warranty or they would go like two or three uh hundred thousand miles before they would crack um and then, of course, you know, I'm sure there's some people out there that, you know, have four or five hundred thousand miles on a block and haven't had an issue yet. Um, but uh, um, this this one here came out of a 99 Dodge pickup. Um, I don't know the mileage on it, um, but it had already been cracked. Somebody had already done a terrible job of trying to fix it. And uh, then it had cracked again. And then we put another complete engine in the pickup. Um if I remember right, oh yeah, yeah, he put another 53 in it, um, cause shit, it's been like, I don't know, four or five years since we did this now, um, and yeah, so, uh, uh, I was giving the guy a really hard time about it because he bought the pickup knowing that it was an already cracked 53 block, um, and I was giving him a bunch of shit for that, and he's like, no, 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 it's been fixed, and I was like, well, yeah, you better hope so, um, and uh, then fucked up on him again. And then, yeah, he bought yet another 53 block to go in there. And it was just like, what the fuck are you thinking? Um, but anyways, that is neither here nor there. Um, but uh, so you can see here somebody's absolutely wonderful attempt at 
trying to fix this. And my understanding is they took it out of the pickup. Um, you know, and if you're charging somebody um, to quote unquote repair a block, this kind of work here I think is absolutely unacceptable. Um, especially if it's out of the pickup and you can lay the engine on its side. And then you can see here that they sh uh, just smeared fucking uh, JB Weld all over the side of it. It was absolutely just covered in, uh, uh, in JB Weld. And then, like I said, this was years ago, so you can see it's uh, gotten all rusted and whatnot since. But you can actually kind of see that it actually looks like the weld is you know, pulling off the side of the block. I have seen some people successfully weld these things. Obviously not the guy that did this one. Um, I have seen some people successfully weld these and uh, there's a, uh, I, I think the company is called Lock and Stitch um, that specializes in this product to deal with cracked castings like this. Um, and there are a couple ways that people have repaired these things. In my personal opinion, the only way to properly repair one of these is take it out and make a flower planter out of it or something similar and put another block in. But, so, you can, you can kind of see here the, you know, the casting on on top and not that you can see but the casting on the bottom here is pretty darn thick but right here where there's this little shelf this little transition it actually gets pretty thin and um, so measure this out right quick so right at half an inch and it's the same for all of these down here and then like I said you can kind of reach up and feel through there it feels um, you know pretty well hell even right there it's even thicker it's got yeah it's probably three quarters of an inch right there but yeah like down here and up here feels like it's the same half inch and uh this is a really fancy tool i know but just got some vice grips like so and so that is not quite a quarter of an inch right there. And so I think that's what the problem was is that this top section here was, you know, relatively thick and rigid and this bottom section here was relatively thick and rigid. And then if you feel this transition shelf right here, it's thin all the way down. And so if you have, you know, two relatively thick and rigid pieces that are moving and flexing and whatever because of heat or whatever, and there's a thin section in the center, then of course that's where it's gonna break. Um, and it's really a shame, because um, you know, I'm no rocket surgeon, but I feel like, you know, I feel like that would be pretty alarming to me if I was, uh, you know, part of the discussion of people designing the molds for this thing. And, you know, you look everywhere else on it, and uh, shit, you know, all this has to do right here is just mount the oil cooler, and, you know, that's that's probably half, uh, that's probably half inch as, as well right there. So, just kind of boggles the mind the way shit's done sometimes. But... So I got my chain fall hooked up to it and I got a little scale on it <coughs> and I want to see what the block weighs. Um, like I was saying, the 53 blocks 
were the ones that were known for cracking. Um, to my knowledge, none of the other blocks had an issue. Um, and um, they're, unfortunately, it's hard to find good information that I've found yet anyways. You know, maybe there's something out there that does a really good deep dive kind of, um, uh, like in-depth, I don't know what the hell you call it, review or whatever of the different blocks for these things. Um, I haven't found it yet anyways. But um, my, I was down at my local machine shop recently and he's got a 56 block that's kind of sitting in the corner of his shop collecting dust. And uh, I'm going to try and buy that from him and we'll see how that goes. But my understanding was the 56 blocks were um, some of the stronger ones out there. But I was curious if they're any heavier. And so um, got, yeah, chain fall hooked up and such. I got a crane scale on it and you can see the chains are loose at the moment. And I want to see what the weight is of this. And hopefully I'll get that 56 block and see if it's any heavier. So, can you see that? Yeah, 265. And... I guess I should show that uh, basically everything is taken off of the block so there's no main caps in it whatsoever. Um, obviously there's no lifters in it as you can see, no pistons in it, nothing like that. Uh, nothing like that. This one fitting is still in it here. Um, if I remember I'd actually shot out those plugs there and then there's just kind of a couple of random plugs here and there but uh, yeah if I get that 56 block from the machine shop then I will weigh that as well and um, and see what that thing weighs but uh, yeah there's a little quick thing for you on the 53 block there